Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell, it is vlog season. It's officially December. We're starting to see everyone put out their vlogmas. But over here on this channel, we always typically do do something called 25 days of Christmas where I would put out a video, a short video, every single day for 12 days of Christmas and I would do a Bible giveaway one time within that period. But this year we are doing something a little different. Instead of 25 days, we're doing 12 days because the topics of this season that I want to go over that I want to talk about that I feel led to talk about that I think will actually, actually be impactful for the 2024 season is purpose. Like that's the overarching theme. And instead of 25 days, we are doing 12 days because I really want to just spit out the information to you guys over the 12 days. And then the rest of the month, you guys use that and really take that to the Lord and also just spend time with friends, spend time with family, and spend time with God and prepare for 2024, spend time fasting, spend time really seeking out what's the vision for 2024, what's your purpose for 2024, what does God want you to do, what's the overall goal, like things like that. What's the point of living and being alive and being created for a purpose if you don't seek out that purpose, if you don't seek out what God intended for you to be. Let me know down in the comments, what do you struggle with the most when it comes to purpose? I know some people, they feel like they're losing sight of their purpose. I know other people, they don't even know their purpose. And other people, they're totally fine. They know their purpose, but, it, but they're under poor leadership and their leadership is not acting on purpose or their leadership is not being intentional with fulfilling their purpose. I mentioned giveaways last year. I gave away a Bible. The year before that, I also gave away a Bible. This year, we're doing a giveaway every single day for 12 days. So stay tuned to the end of this video to see the giveaway for today and also to figure out how to enter that giveaway. Okay, so I'm just gonna go get into Bible study. I usually like to start off with just writing out my prayers. Writing out anything that mind, writing out anything. I just feel led to pray about people I feel led to pray for, things like that. So yeah, I just do that. And until I don't have anything left to write. <laughs> and so some days I write a ton. I write like 10 pages. That's an exaggeration. But I'll write like 5 pages. And the other days it's maybe like 1 or 2. I think on average it's probably like 2 or 3 pages. Now that I'm done with that, then I like to go into reading the book I'm currently studying. And right now, I am currently studying the book of Isaiah. I am on chapter 35. Pretty much what I do, I just read it, anything that sticks out to me. Lately, I've just been writing down whatever sticks out to me, whatever that scripture is. Um, but sometimes I just read it, and if it sticks out to me, I just ponder on it a little bit. Not necessarily write it down, um, or I'll just use it to pray about something. And I always, I typically like to read my the chapter out loud. I'll just do a chapter a day. I typically like like to read it out loud, just so like I'm fully engaged in it, and 
also I think it just it's good to read out loud so you speak better from what I've heard and I'm really working on trying not to say like all the time <laughs> so reading out loud helps a lot with that and just it allows your mouth to just move slower instead of just going at it and speaking really fast and going really fast I love this bible because it has like super beautiful pictures you can see like it just has a great like pictures and stuff like that like what so that's typically that i do have this book also it's called what the bible is all about and it just goes through each book in the bible and gives more context and what that's saying the time period what's going on there stuff like that and i'm already caught up what am i yeah i'm already caught up um for I the book of isaiah um the next section starts on with isaiah 40 and i am on isaiah 35 right now so i'm just gonna wait till i get to isaiah 40 before i start diving in deeper on whatever on what that means so yeah so that is just like my my time with god oh i need to do better at this personally is just maybe like sitting for 10 minutes in silence so i teach bible study i want to prep that first before i head out to kind of show you guys how i prep that and how i teach the kiddos Get my laptop and let's get into it. Make it short and sweet. Short, sweet, and impactful. I teach like elementary school to high school aged boys. Their attention spans are not super long and I've also been in school all day so my goal is to give them Jesus make it consumable and also memorable so that's how I tried to go into it um and what was that um if you are a if you teach Sunday school or if you teach Bible study to kids or if you teach Bible study at all like let me know your tips down below I am curious um because I can always be better always learn new tricks and tips and things like that so what I use is I use app live application study bible when I'm prepping for a bible study for bible study we're currently re going through the book of John. I already read through the book of John and I already wrote down scriptures that stuck out to me personally. Yeah, we are currently on John chapter 15 and we already and I already wrote down the scriptures that stuck out to me when I read it the first go around. Um, but I like to use the Life Application Study Bible because sometimes it highlights things to me that I would be like, oh, like either I didn't know that or something that I already did know, but the way they phrased it, I'm like, oh, I can um, frame this as a question to the boys as I am teaching them. The screen is on when the boys come in and then once they get in I'm just kind of like check in on them see how they're doing ask if they have any prayer requests then I'll either have them pray some one of them pray or I or I will pray and then we get into this it's just the gospel and I just have us repeat it every time we meet just so it's something that comes to the remembrance as they grow older. And then, like I said, we do a recap of what we talked about last week. Um, 
and we're doing John 15 today. And then we just go through and read. And like I said, I like to drop questions in after each section or about each section. I just do three questions each Bible study. And I feel like that allows us to have a good conversation um, and keep them engaged in the period of time, in a short period of time. So just ask these questions and read another question read and another question in the last question and then let them know we have john 16 last week and i also like to ask if they have any questions comments concerns if there's anything confusing that we need to go over and then usually i pray out if i didn't pray in the beginning and then that is that is bible study as that is it so yeah that was a little bit of bible study and a little bit of like my routine what i do in the mornings to set my mind right get get ready to go and get ready to fulfill the purpose that god has for me so daily things a daily practice that's for sure like I feel like if you I feel like if you're really walking with the Lord, it's a practice. Like it's not a religion. It's literally a practice and a relationship. But that's just my two cents. The giveaway item of today is it is this flag that I will pop up on the screen. Um if you guys want it but you're not on my email list yet, that is where you need to be. You need to sign up for my email list. You can sign up using the link down below in the description box. That is where all the giveaways are going out to, are to the people on my email list. So if you're not on the email list, you won't have a chance to enter or be part of the giveaway. Um, so definitely go there if you would like a chance to win this or any of the other items that I will be giving away these next 12 days. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have quite a bit more stuff to do and I'm just going to go ahead and go do those. But I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video.